Hey, um, uh, today I thought I'd make a video on uh, why and how you vertimo or scarify, dethatch, whatever you want to call it. Uh, give a run through. So, the reason why you do want to do it is because over time, growing and all that sort of thing, throughout the summer months, it builds up thatch, a thatch layer or a dead layer of grass that um, gets quite thick and spongy and if you want to keep it nice and low you have to remove that so mine's just come out of winter we're in the sort of second week of spring and um, it's not looking too bad it's looking pretty green considering I haven't touched it in the last couple months but that I'll be using to uh, dethatch the lawn. You can do it in a number of ways. You can use a, uh, a rake to do it, which is pretty hard work. Depending on how bad it is, it probably won't work that well. Uh, you can use a uh, rotary mower, put some bags of concrete on it, or whatever, weigh it down and take it down as low as you can physically go. Or you can use one of these, which is a, a verti mower. Uh, just a series of like ninja stars. Uh, and they spin really fast and remove all the grass back down to dirt. Um, you can also hire machines very similar from Kennards uh, called scarifiers or birdie mowers, whatever they want to call them on the day. Um, and they've, they've got a series of blades on a reel um, and you can... Uh, run that over your lawn and then use a rotary mower to sort of suck up all the stuff which is what I'll be doing after this sort of goes over it. Um, so this is self-propelled, um, one that you can you can buy pretty much anywhere, the old Scott Bonners, uh, if you can find them cheap enough these days because the prices are going through the roof but if you can get them cheap enough and you want to convert one to a verti mower, there's plenty of accessories and all that sort of stuff to be able to do it. So. That's what I'll be using uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah. So I forgot to mention as well, um, the type of grass I've got is um, cooch. You can do this um, with your cooch and kaikuya, um, but it isn't recommended as much um, with your buffalo. Your buffalo should only be scouted uh, where the roots are um, are still on the surface, whereas Kikuya and Cooch has got rhizome and stones, so they actually grow under the ground. So you can physically take it to dirt. That's as low as the mower goes. Still got a long way to go down yet. That's when the verdi mile comes in to its own. Yeah, so that's as low as the rotary mile will sort of take it on its low, low setting. But uh, as you can see, you still got heaps more to go down. That's all the stuff you're getting out there, all the, the dead stuff. There will be a lot of green that will come out, but a lot of um, shoots and all that. You just want to get rid of it all. Keep taking it down lower and lower until you get to dirt.
starting to look brown now. Um, I didn't go quite low enough with the Verti mower because um, I ran out of adjustment, so I just had to run down to the shops and grab a uh, extra cha chain link. So um, that's one pass of the Verti mower and one pass of the actual rotary mower. So it's coming down pretty good. Um, yeah, still got another pass of the rotary and um, Verti mower to go. All right, so that's the second pass over with a 30 mile. It's quite low now. Uh, I'm gonna take it as low as I can with the um, cylinder mower. Uh, set it around five, six mil. Try not to suck up too much dirt, and then um, that'll be it. That's what it looks like now. method but we're gonna take it back with a cylinder mower as low as we can get it. Um, this one's due for a sharpen anyway so it doesn't really matter but it's not the best on your blades because you end up sucking up a bit of sand but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, take it nice and low um, yeah and get get rid of the rest of it. All right, so that is done. Taking it right back to dirt. Got a fair bit of material off, considering I only did it last year. One of those big bags full, plus the blue green bin. And most of this is dirt. That one's real heavy, so that's probably half full of just dirt. Um, 
yeah, so use the cylinder mole. The cylinder mole makes a huge difference in getting it the height down that the rotary mole just can't do. Um, so there's bugger all green left in it now, only in this sort of little section here. Uh, that's because it's a, a low spot that I was leveling last year, but um, yeah, you know, got the fun job of sweeping up. All right, so I didn't film it, but it's getting pretty late now. Um, I put the sprinklers, uh, fertilised first, put the sprinklers on, um, and then put down uh, some wetting agent, um, and then put the sprinklers back on again to water it in to get it into that soil profile. Uh, so that's all done now. Um, I didn't bother to film it because I thought it would be boring, but um, yeah. Now it's just sit back and wait. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully it wasn't too long. And um, give a thumbs up if you like it. Cheers.